Days after Groveport Madison High School was put on lockdown, the district released the findings of its investigation into what appeared to be, to some, a gun found during an alleged riot. NBC 4's Tyler Beckham sat down with the new superintendent there, just seven months on the job. And then he also went to tonight's board meeting, and he joins us now live to tell us what did the parents think of what they heard tonight, Tyler? Calling much like Groveport Madison School Superintendent Garley Ogden did with parents of the roughly 1,800 students who attend here, I can tell you that many of the parents say they feel better, and I can also show you proof. Stop fighting, or his hands going this way. Stop fighting, stop fighting. If looks can be deceiving, social media equals deception multiplied by countless clicks. Evan was talking about the gun. People are saying um, it was like found in someone's book bag in the classroom, like they pulled it out. Divided by rumors of an alleged gun found during a supposed riot at Groveport Madison High School, the district met with concerned parents and students, like the mother of 10th grader David Neal Jr., who shared her fears with me the night of the October 29th incident. I, I was more concerned about my son's safety and the well of other children. During a show and tell, Superintendent Gary Lee Ogden pointed to still images from video taken by the school's 79 security cameras of the fight and the 50 students Ogden said the district interviewed before shedding light on that alleged gun. The blurry picture, it's a student with holding a pair of sunglasses and we can zoom in to find that grant that detail. As for the supposed riot, it looked like more people were involved than there was. Greenwell, one of countless parents initially critical of the district, also saw proof through pictures that only six students were fighting. I feel safer for my son. I think the superintendent was very informative. I think she had it broken down very well. Ogden says it's transparency plus honesty she hopes eventually adds up to trust. I want to make sure that our students feel safe and our staff and our parents feel safe. They are sending their most prized possession to us. It's our responsibility to keep them safe. As for that fight, Ogden was also able to zoom in on stills of it and show that many of those were just students changing classes and some of the teachers there trying to maintain order. Six students involved, all facing disciplinary action by the school, two facing criminal action through disorderly conduct charges. Local for you in Groveport, Tyler Beckham, NBC4.